It seems to me like we've been in this time where siloed platforms uh, have had developers sort of beholden to device makers largely in defining the business models, but we might be headed into something else. And Unity, in a way, seems set up uh, to, to really fuel that. Am, am I looking at that right? Yeah, well, look, I think there's a couple of things going on. And, you know, at, at Unity, I think we have a pretty good vantage point to see it all. Um, today, about 60% or so of the world's games are built on our platform. It's an underlying tech platform. But here's the salient point. In any given month, um, between three and three and a half billion people play a mobile game. And you know it counts into the low hundreds of millions of people, a couple hundred million people that'll play a PC or a console game. So you know, from from Microsoft's perspective, or from any of the the key platforms like the Sony PlayStation or Nintendo or Microsoft, they're looking for ways to reach that larger audience when they don't own you know sort of a mobile ecosystem the way say an Apple or Google do. Um, you know, Microsoft's announcement you know around streaming. It still will enable people, they have an endpoint like the Xbox, it's still going to enable people to use their Xbox, which is a hardware device. Um, they're tapping into set-top boxes and with, you know, into the mobile ecosystem we're trying to with the overall sort of Xbox membership. And here's what I think the, maybe the, the point that we should all think a little bit about. Um, Netflix brought streaming at scale um, to television and, and film content. And will there be a player that works like a, a Netflix in the gaming industry, sort of a subscription, if you will, everything you need, well, we'll end up being more like a bunch of Disney pluses where individual companies will bring their content to, to a direct streaming or a direct download and play model. Uh, Microsoft certainly has a, a, a lot of content. Their most recent acquisition of Bethesda really gives half to an incredible portfolio of intellectual property and games. And so they're bringing it direct to the consumer just like you'd expect them to.